in the last days I turned this crappy Spider-Man game into this crappy Spider-Man game. Watch this video to see how I achieved such greatness. It all started a few weeks ago with my one hour game dev challenge where I made the Spider-Man game. Some of you even noticed where I got my inspiration from. Back in my days. Shut up, Boomer. Anyway, when I was young, I played this great Flash game called Spider-Man City Raid. It's an extremely weird Spider-Man Endless Runner, but very fun to play. So now that I make games, it's time to take this idea and turn it into something big and epic. I started to improve my prototype by balancing the ragdoll, which leads to this surprisingly realistic Spider-Man behavior. But for some reason I thought that those disjointed limbs are somewhat weird, so I changed from spring joints to hinge joints. Yeah, much better. But why are you so shaky? It turned out I failed to disable self-collision. Now we have a nice self-balancing Spider-Man ragdoll. I just needed to disable the balancing while he's not grounded and we get this super satisfying result. Now that he's able to stand, I would like my ragdoll to be running as well. I just searched for a tutorial, found this one by Zunity, implemented his method and... No one said Spider-Man is good at running, right? Yo, Spidey! Huh? Mary Jane's parents are gone for this weekend! <laughs> so, running is working. Next, I tackled the rope swinging. Currently, the web shooting is too boring, so I decided to animate it. And obviously, this worked directly, no problems whatsoever. But my personal favorite is a slow mo version. Mary Jane, I'm coming to save you. Eventually, I found some nice parameters and the web shooting looks decent. The only problem, the rest of the game still looks awful. Time to create some art. These skyscrapers won't make it into the final game. I just made them to see if the skyscraper concept works. And it works, as you can see. That's what happens when you try to make a 2D image look 3D in a game. To fix this, I split the building into multiple parts. The front part will always be rendered on top of Spidey and the other parts behind him. As you can see, it's much better and oh, bro, what happened? Still not brilliant. I needed to do some scripting to fix the rooftop and here we have a proper result. With the skyscrapers, the game has changed fundamentally and currently it's not fun. Getting up those buildings is just too difficult and takes too much time. So let's introduce the background building, which is actually super fun to use. Back to my drawing tablet, I drew a new Spider-Man model. And another one. And another one, which almost looks the same. But trust me, it's uh, different. Okay. If you examine the game carefully, you will see that the current background sucks. Combined with the prelax scrolling, the new background is uh, better. Yeah, not sure about that one. So I added some mist and uh, better, but still not perfect. To be more satisfied, I changed the color of the background buildings and I must admit, this color change really mess. Ooh, Spidey just hit that subscribe button. <sighs> this looks super painful. You probably shouldn't do this. Or should you? Last but not least, I added some post-processing. As you can see, the game isn't finished yet. So I ask you, shall I make this an endless runner or should I create some fixed devils? Tell me in the comments. If you haven't seen how I made the one hour version of the game, watch this video. Or click at this one and watch whatever this is. This is recommended by YouTube and YouTube is smart, so this will be good.